Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. I have an awesome zap to show you guys tonight, and it has to do with um, zapping information into Clio's custom fields. And this is super, super helpful. So let me go ahead and hop over to the screen here and show you guys what I'm talking about. So here I am on my Clio account, and you'll notice I've got a custom field here that's called um, next hearing date. Now what this zap does is it updates the information in this custom field. And it doesn't just have to be a hearing date. You can make whatever custom field you want and put whatever custom information that you want in there. In this case, I thought it would be really helpful to see my next hearing date that's coming up on a case. Not to mention, um, I could go to my whole matters list here and you know put in a column that was the next hearing date and be able to see the next hearing date on all of my cases. So that would be really, really helpful. Um, so what I've done here is I've got my matter and I've got the field next hearing date, but we haven't had any hearings yet in this case and so there's nothing in there. Um, but don't you know today I was in court and we went ahead and scheduled a hearing. So I'm going to go over here to calendar and I'm going to add this hearing date. So I'm going to say I've got a new event here and I'm going to call it hearing, oh, you have to spell it correctly for it to work, hearing on motion to dismiss. And the hearing was scheduled for next week on the 14th and that's going to be at, let's see, 10 a.m and it's going to be over at the courthouse. And so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save that on my calendar and it's saved for this particular matter. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and you'll notice that that's on August 14th. So now if I come back to my dashboard to look at that custom field, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my screen. And voila. August 14th has popped up in that custom field. Now again, this is super, super helpful if I wanna track dates that change or locations that change or information that changes throughout the case. A lot of times I have people complain that, you know, custom fields are awesome, but you have to go in there and edit them. And especially as information changes, if our staff isn't trained this way or if they're not looking for it, they may miss that information that changes. So to be able to have information, especially off of a calendar date, that works particularly well, um, then I can just have that calendar date updated in the custom fields. Not to mention, I can then use this custom field to create documents. So if we're talking about preparing a, you know, um, um, a notice of motion or whatever document I might have a date, some type of notice that's noticing up that date, um, then I can go ahead and make a field for that date and it will always be updating um, as the new hearing comes in. Um, so I am going to flip over to Zapier and show you just basically how I put together this Zap. So you'll see here that um, it's based on a new calendar entry in Clio. And so I simply you know, showed it my Clio account and said I wanted to do it based on a calendar event. Here I put in a filter and you can see on this filter um, right here, it says that if the name of the calendar event contains the word hearing, that's when it's going to update. So it has to be on that matter and it has to have the word hearing in it. Now the filter is pretty important because of course we don't want to update that field with just any calendar event. I mean if my client comes in for an appointment I'm going to attach it to that case but I don't want it to show up in that field. So we have to be very careful about how we name our calendar events in order for this to work. But I'm going to name all of those with hearing and so we've got that part going there. And then the last thing that you want to take a look at, and a lot of people don't know this, um, the last step is I want to update a matter in Clio. That's an action step in Zapier. And so I come down here and I need to go ahead and in this step customize that matter. What people don't always realize is that we can update custom fields using Zapier. And so what Zapier has done is it's gone in and looked at all of the fields on my cases. Some of them may be default fields, but then as we scroll down here we find the custom fields. And so these are all custom fields that I've added to my cases. And of course if we scroll down far enough we'll find the one that says next hearing date and that's how I got the information in there. So. The idea is that, you know, all of these custom fields that I've created, I could be updating them through a zap where appropriate. 
So a couple things to keep in mind if you're going to try this, and that is when you're in Clio, you have to make sure that the case has that custom field, even if it's blank, at least make sure the case has it or else Zapier won't be able to add it and then update it. Zapier can only update the custom field once it's already in the case. So a great thing to do there is to make sure that when you're opening these cases, you're using custom field sets. And I like to, um, custom field sets, by the way, are groups of custom fields that you can add to a case and so you don't have to do them one at a time. And I like to label my custom fields based on the matter type, right? So if I have a you know practice area of personal injury, then I'm going to have all the personal injury custom fields in one set so that it's very easy to put those into the correct cases. So if that's being set up at the beginning, again, even if the custom field is blank, that's okay as long as it's in the matter. Then Zapier can go ahead and update that. If it's missing, it won't work. Um, so a couple of things to remember. Make sure the custom field is in the matter. Make sure that your um, let's see, the custom field is in the matter, and make sure that you're labeling your calendar events correctly. Because again, if it doesn't say the word hearing or whatever trigger word it is, then it won't pick it up. And I don't want it to necessarily pick up everything. So I hope this was helpful. Please give it a try. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys soon.